Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared and I got an unboxing here. So I purchased this from someone in the community. The other day he was trying to get some funds together to purchase one of his grail knives. And uh, this happens to be a knife I, I've always um, been attracted to. Uh, I've always wanted to get, but I just never pulled the trigger. And then it was out for a little while. So then I just said, no, I'm not going to get it no more, you know, and... Then the opportunity came to get one, and I decided to, to do that, and it is the Ace Grand. And I figured it would help the guy out, you know, that was trying to sell it, and get me a knife um, that I've always wanted. I think it just, it's a beautiful looking knife. It's my style of knife. Um, first flip. All right. We got a full flat ground drop point blade. Elmax steel, nice sharpening choil. I love that plunge grind. All right, let's try the thumb flick. I'm not a big fan of this liner. It's kind of similar to, um, you know, and I always I knew it was gonna be the the Ace Biblio because it's like its cousin. And but that's kind of why I wanted to get it because I did really like the Ace Biblio, but. This is a bigger version, right? And that's kind of why I wanted it. Now, the Ergos are fantastic. This is really nice in the hand. You see where the jimping lands, right where my thumb is. The only thing so far that I'm not happy about is just uh, the, the liner. Like, you see how it's, it's, it's poked up a little bit, I guess. My uh, Ace Biblio... When I first got it, that thing was like a saw blade. <laughs> it was painful to unlock. Let's check this lock up. Early lock up. Nice and solid though. Maybe a little play, but I can tighten the pivot though. I'm not worried about that. The action's pretty good. Detent isn't, uh, well, I guess detent is kind of strong. From up here, it doesn't feel like it from right here. But when I pull on it, it's actually pretty strong. Good action. I know it is a fairly brand new. He had just gotten it. I uh, hadn't even used it. Just unboxed it. And uh, then had the opportunity to um, to get something that was his grill. And I can tell by looking at this micarta that it's, you know, it's new. So, yeah, I like it. Um I like it a lot. I'm wondering if I can't do something about this liner possibly. Maybe. I don't know because it might mess it up. I'm trying to think like if I had a little bit more room right here and I pushed him from the side. If that would be more comfortable or not. Let me look down there. So we do have the, the liner in there. You can see the two liners. If I backed this up just a little bit from like right here to here kind of like the the knife i i un unboxed with the american blade works um model one version six i actually just got it back from american blade works but you see how this is right here i didn't do this the way it came but see how it's got that cut out i could do the same thing on that one it would make the access a lot easier because it's not really that bad. Maybe I'm just making a big deal out of it. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to mess with it until I have it for a couple weeks or something and then decide because I've definitely, like I got a knife right now that, um, I, you know, I thought maybe was going to be an issue and not because it felt like it was going to be an issue, but I just know myself and now I realize that it's not an issue at all. I actually like it a lot. It actually feels really comfortable. Especially after messing around with some really uncomfortable um, knives. Let's check out the sharpening. Let me feel that. Nice and thin behind the edge. It's pretty good. I thought this was going to be a lot more robust than it is. And that's a good thing. Cool. So it's kind of like that happy medium grind where it's super slicey yet tough. I like that. I like that a lot. So this is pretty cool. There you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, wait. What's up with that backspacer? Titanium backspacer. 
T6s. Oh, I wish I was a T8. Look at this. This is kind of weird. They put T8 for the damn clip. And then they put T6 body screws. Ain't that... It's kind of weird, right? But there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.